All right, in this video, this is going to be an introduction to ATIT's, uh, the math series that I'm going to make. And the manual that you see right here, this is what's di released directly by ATI. It's a great manual to use to help you prepare for the ATI T's test, the new T's test. And if you have taken the T's test before, effective August 31st, 2016, you can hopefully you can kind of read that right there, but you'll need to purchase this T's manual. Now, let me go ahead and give my little disclaimer. Um, I'm not paid by ATI for doing these series by any means, but I have taught several ATI T's review courses in the past to help students prepare for the ATI T's. Just the math part, the English and science, I can't help you so much there, I'm sorry. But I know a lot of students struggle with math. So I want to create a series of videos. It's going to be related to the new T's test. If you're not familiar with what's going on in this new T's test, then over at ATI's website, uh, they talk about the T's 5, but this new one that they call, they call this new one the ATI T's right there. So notice it was released on August 31st, 2016. Some big changes, and here is the biggest change I can tell you for the most part in regards to ATITs. The new ATITs released in August 31st of 2016, it will allow for the use of a four function calculator. However, please do not bring your own calculator as a calculator will be embedded into the online version. If you take the paper or pencil version or paper, paper and pencil version of the T's test, they will provide one for you. Four function calculator is just a basic calculator that has an addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and a decimal. There's no fraction buttons up there. There's no mixed number buttons, no percent buttons or anything like that. So you still need to have a little bit of knowledge on how to work with fractions and, and some decimals and some percents and stuff like that. And there's a whole bunch of goals that are broken down. Now, the ATI study manual, you can get it from ATI's website. I think you can get it from Amazon. It's in the neighborhood of 50 bucks. Now, I will not be doing problems directly out of here, but I'm going to be basing the problems that I teach you here. You know, do the problems in the book. Feel free to comment below and ask me questions about problems in the book. There's nothing wrong with doing that if people are having trouble with it. But the problems that I'm going to be creating are problems that are very, 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 very similar. Um, I just don't want to, you know, deal with that whole copyright issue. So I'm going to be creating problems that are similar to what you'll see in the study guide. Uh, the study guide is still a good purchase. You, you get a test with it. Um, they give you explain, they explain solutions to the problems that are being worked out. So definitely pick it up. Um, some things that you'll see in the table of contents, but this is not, again, this is my way of wording these goals and objectives. But uh, the math stuff, there's two key things you have to be comfortable with, number and algebra. I like to say that as numbers, but uh, these goals are listed in your study guide, but they are, you know, I put my own little twist on how I word them. Measurement and data, and then, you know, we have these things. So in this series of videos, I'm going to be focusing on one goal at a time. I think that's going to keep the videos relatively short, uh, get the idea across to you, and then again, if you have the study guide, you can kind of flip through, see some, how, see some of the problems that I'm working. Yes, they're going to be different than what's the ones that, that you see in your book, but nonetheless, you're going to be seeing pretty much the same stuff. Uh, but yeah, you know, this is the intro piece. Some other things to show to you. Please make sure you watch the rest of this. Uh, there, there's a little issue, or not an issue, but there's a little piece here that ATI's website, they talk about, you know, how much of the stuff is broken up, um, concepts, and notice it says number and algebra, measurement and data. We're going to cover all of those goals and objectives. And then also one more piece of information that can be helpful for you is my website, idomath.weebly.com. This is where I'm going to be posting ATI stuff as well. Underneath the test prep, the T's test, if we look at the old one first, just because this says old T's, that doesn't mean you want to stay away from it because if you want to get a head start or if I have not, if you're watching these videos early on, then... I don't have, I may not have all of these videos created, but these are ones that I've already created from past math classes that I've taught, all these videos in here, and you know, you can, uh, you know, click on a link in there, and it'll take you directly to my YouTube video for you to watch, um, in this case, Dividing Fractions. This is definitely something that I'm going to be doing another video on that's related directly towards you, the, the student who's trying to take the T's test. But nonetheless, you know, there are some videos here at the Test prep, T's test, old, old T's. 
Um, I have some notes here. This stuff right here probably does not pertain to you as much. This stuff right here, the practice math test first semester, that's for students at the local community college that I teach at here in North Carolina. But nonetheless, there's some stuff to get you started. Also, T's test, the ATI T's. This is a new one. This right here is going to be a changing page, but notice I've got those same videos copied over in here too. I'm going to be changing this as time goes along because there are some things on the new T's or there were some things that were on the old T's that are not on the new T's from what I can gather. That study guide, I've used it to teach the courses that I have taught and I get good be, uh, good feedback from students. So I'm going to do the same thing with this new one. You know, you can get the new study guide here. There are some typos in the study guide. You can get the corrections right there. ATI has released a little document that shows corrections um, in, the, in the typos, and there are several of them with the math. Um, as you can see, there's one right there if you have the study guide. So that's another reason why I'm not going to be doing problems directly out of the book because, uh, quite frankly, there, there were a number of typos here. I was kind of surprised to see so many, but that's neither here nor there. The T's content, I've already talked about that, and then the calculator deal right there. So again, this is just an intro video. I hope you uh, watch all of these videos here um, so that you can, you know, knock this math portion out and uh, hopefully, you know, do well in your English and science as well. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope it helped.